this first knot that we're going to be looking at is called the clinch knot. It's probably the most versatile fishing knot ever as it can be used to connect swivels to leader and mainline to swivels and to hooks, jigs, spinners, lures, flies, anything. So how you tie the clinch knot is you make a loop through the eye of your hook and you twist around seven to eight times, pass it through, back through that uh, small hole in your loop, and then you just pull it tight. It's literally that simple. First knot I ever learned to tie and the most widely used knot I've ever found. And it looks good too. It's really sleek and it works good. The second knot is called the Albury knot. It's used to connect two lines or uh, like bumpers, maybe mono to fluorocarbon or braid to fluoro or even braid to mono. Um, I use it to connect my heavier mono or braid leaders to my lighter fluorocarbon bumper. Um, what you do is you um, make a loop, and then you pass the knot, then you pass the line through the eye of the loop, loop it around seven times, pass it back through the eye, and then wet it, and then pull it tight. It's literally that simple. It's the first uh, line to line knot I've ever used. And it's really strong. You can be confident that you're going to have a strong hold on that fish when you hook it, and this knot is not going to fail you. Very, very strong. Very, very, very good. I use it all the time. This third lock knot we're going to be looking at is called the egg loop knot. If you don't learn to tie any other knot, learn to tie the egg loop knot. It is the most versatile knot of all time ever. Um, it's called the egg loop knot or the egg loop knot because it can be. It's used to hold salmon eggs and uh, other uh, row on your hook by a collapsible little mono or line kind of grabber or like a loop that you can pull tight. How you tie it is you loop your, put your line through the eye of your hook, um, loop your main line around the eye or around the shank um, about five to ten times the more, more on the lighter the line and then you pass it back, you pass your main line back through the eye of your hook, and then um, you kind of twist and loop around your line about five to six more times. You wet it, and then you pull it tight. And that's your egg loop knot. As you can see here, it's got a little collapsible thing that you can put your salmon row through, and just pull it tight. Like that, it ain't going anywhere. You clip your tag in, and thanks for watching my first vid ever.